For these problems, you're going to write each division problem two other ways. So let's look at how we would do that. For number one, we see 43 divided by four. When you see a division problem written this way, make sure you read what's inside of the box first and outside afterwards. So it's 43 divided by four. But you can also write it another way. You could write it 43 divided by four. And there's one other way you could write it. You could write it up and down like this, 43 divided by four. Notice this looks like a fraction. And it is because all fractions are just division problems in disguise. When you see 43 fourths, that's just a division problem, 43 divided by four. So let's look at number two. You could also write 25 divided by three like this, 25 divided by three. But you could also write it as a fraction, 25 divided by three. So do number three. We could do 30 divided by three like that, or like this, or like this. Each of these, even though they look differently, they represent the exact same quotient. We'll do one more. 23 divided by 4 could be written like that, it can be written like this, or it can be written like a fraction. You try the rest on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck!